What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick review of Bixby and the Galaxy S8 launcher running on the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Now first of all, if you guys are not aware, you can get the new Bixby Assistant that's on the Galaxy S8 on your Samsung Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge basically by just installing the new S8 launcher and then installing the Bixby APK. I was going to do a full tutorial for you guys. Uh, but my friend Max Lee actually went ahead and did the tutorial a couple days ago, so I didn't want to duplicate that video. There's really no reason for that. Uh, so I'll drop the link below to his video. You guys can download the APKs and go ahead and put the launcher and put Bixby on your S7 if you want to. What I want to do is actually go through and talk about what you actually get, because you don't get the full Bixby Assistant, uh, and I want to give you a quick review of the launcher for the Galaxy S8 running on the S7, and also a quick overview of the Bixby Assistant. You can also get the always-on display for the Galaxy S8 on your S7 as well by installing another APK. You may need to clear the data. I'll drop a link below into how you can get that as well. I believe Max also did a video. I'll also link the XDA article if you guys want to check it out. This is the Galaxy S8 always-on display running on the S7. So first of all, when you install Bixby, you're going to notice that you don't actually get all of the cool features. You don't get Bixby Vision, which is the camera feature that lets you take pictures and identify objects. You're basically going to get the functionality of swiping from the home screen and getting the Hello Bixby cards, which is kind of like your Google Now or Flipboard or any other kind of cards that you might get. You see right here, you get some news briefing from Flipboard. Samsung gives you some suggested themes for your phone. Um, I've got my schedule there. I've got my activity there if I want to link up my S Health data. Uh, pretty much everything that you would get with Google Now, actually not quite as much because Samsung, of course, most people are not using Samsung services as much as they're using Google services. Now, if you use Samsung services for everything, Bixby is probably going to be a great option for you. But right now, this is pretty much the extent of what you get. If you go to the very top right here, you can see the uh, information inside the Bixby settings for the APK that you install. Hello Bixby on the lock screen, you can actually get that functionality as well as you guys can see right there. You can see that you can actually choose what you get for Hello Bixby, which apps it's going to work with to give you recommendations and stuff. Eventually, I haven't seen any of this actually working on my Galaxy S7 so far. Uh, you can also see which apps you want to get Hello Bixby cards from. So that's what I just showed you by swiping over from the, locks, uh, from the home screen. You can get information from YouTube, weather, all the Samsung apps, obviously. Flipboard briefing, which of course Samsung has integrated for a while. Facebook and Foursquare. So you can get a lot of your social media in there as well. Uh, so again, it's very limited at this point. Um, you're not going to get the Bixby Vision. You don't get the full AI assistant uh, being able to do things like rotate photos and all that sort of stuff uh, in your gallery app. Nothing like that just yet. So in my opinion, it's cool to install it, but not very functional yet. Uh, what you do get, though, if you install Bixby, you're going to have to install the Galaxy S8 launcher as well. The Galaxy S8 launcher is actually pretty cool. It's got a swipe up from the bottom there to get to your app drawer, just like the Pixel has. So that's a really cool feature. Another thing you guys can see right there, if you take a look, I've got notification uh, badges right there on my app. So Samsung Pay, Messenger, see if we can find a few more. Uh, I had a bunch of notifications in Talon but they're gone now. Facebook, you can see I've got a notification badge on Facebook. That's one of the big features of the new Galaxy S8 launcher. Overall, I do like the Galaxy S8 launcher. It's much cleaner uh, than the launcher we had on the Galaxy S7 and S7 when they first launched, uh, S7 Edge when they first launched last year. It's much nicer to have those pixel features because I do use the pixel as well. And notification badges are very, very nice, which are coming, of course, to Android O officially. So this is something we're probably going to see a lot of OEMs uh, implement in the future. Uh, the last thing, the always-on display, which I mentioned you can also get, it's not entirely different uh, than the always-on display that you might see on your Galaxy S7 by default. So if we go in here really quick, I'll show you guys what the always-on display options look like now. Click in the always-on display, and you can see the various options for always-on display here. A couple things that you can do is you can put an image there. You can also put the edge clock if you have the edge display. Uh, and that's pretty much what's new. You can always also choose which content you want to show, the home button and clock or information. The home button references the virtual home button that the Galaxy S8 has, so that actually doesn't apply if you put it on the Galaxy S7, uh, or just the clock and the information on your Galaxy S8 once you get that. So there are all the options you can choose with the new always-on display. 
All right, so again, I'll drop the links below if you guys want to put the new S8 launcher, the Bixby cards. Again, it's not the full AI assistant. That's the thing I want to emphasize in this video. I think a lot of people are thinking it's the full AI assistant. It is not. Uh, and you can also get the always on display. I think the notification badges and the new launcher is probably the nicest thing that you can get right now that really improves the experience of using the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. I appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.